Hello and welcome everyone. I am Tanya and you are watching Learn With Ears. In today's video, we are going to talk about the three most important ways to talk about future are will, going to and present continuous. First of all, we'll learn the sentence structure, how to use will to make positive sentences. Here is a sentence, I will eat, okay? I will eat, we will eat, you will eat, they will eat, he will eat, she will eat and it will eat. Okay, so here these are subjects. Okay, I, we, you, they, he, she, it. Okay, these are subjects. If you want to learn more about subjects and object pronoun, you can click here and watch the video or you can get the link in description box. So here to make positive sentences, we are using subject, will and verb. Okay, I is a subject, will we are using here and eat is a verb, right? I, we, you, they, he, she, it these are subjects then will and then verb okay he will come i will cook food they will play football it will run later and she will work tomorrow okay so now we know to make positive sentences in future simple tense we first use subject he is the subject then will and verb okay these are positive sentences okay now let's see how to form negative sentences so here is the first sentence i will not eat we will not eat you will not eat they will not eat he will not eat she will not eat it will not eat to make negative sentences in future simple tense we use not okay after will we use not so we use subject then will then not and verb subject will not and verb right on the place of will not we can use won't okay won't won't is a contraction form of will not short form of will not i won't eat i won't eat we won't eat you won't eat they won't eat he won't eat she won't eat and it won't eat okay now remember we have to pronounce won't okay won't not want 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 is different okay we have to pronounce won't won't now let's see how to ask questions in future simple tense okay so for asking questions in future simple tense we use will then subject then verb okay and at the end we use question mark right now let's see some examples so first is will i work okay so first we are using will then subject after that verb with a question mark okay remember we use question mark in a question this is a question and we use full stop okay simply a point full stop in a statement in an answer right so this is a 
question. Next, will we work? Then, will you work? Will they work? Will he work? Will she work? And will it work? Okay, so these are questions. First, we use will. After that, we use subject. These are subjects. At the end, we use verb with a question mark. Now, we can also make questions by using question words. Okay? These are question words. When, why, how, where and how long. Now, let's see some examples. When will he work? Okay? It's a question. When will he work? So, here you can notice, first we are using a question word, then will, then subject and at the end we are using a verb with a question mark, right? So, this is a question. When will he work? Next, why will you work? Where will he work? How long will he work? And how will they work? Okay. So if we want to ask questions in future simple tense, so simply we can use will first, then subject, after that verb. Okay. And at the end, we put a question mark. For example, will I work? Will we work? will you work etc right but if we want to know more so we can use these question words for example when will he work okay so here we want to know time okay we want to know more about him okay not only will he work or not we want to know when will he work we want to know time also so here we want to know time why we use for reason where for place how long for time period and we use how for method style ways okay now let's see contractions okay so contracted form of i will is i'll i'll you will you will you will, they will, they'll, they'll, we will, 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 he will, he'll, he'll, she will, she'll, she'll, it will, it'll, it'll. Okay, so these are contracted forms. Now remember, contractions are not appropriate in formal speech or writing. We can only use contraction informally. Now let's see positive sentences with contractions. I'll work. You'll work. They'll work. We'll work. He'll work. She'll work. It'll work. Okay, now negative sentences are I won't work. Remember, will not is won't. I won't work. You won't work. They won't work. We won't work. He won't work. She won't work. And it won't work. Okay, so these are contractions. Here we are using positive sentences with contractions and here negative sentences. Okay, now next short answers. Okay, how to give short answers. So here there is a question. Will you eat? Okay, it is a question. So we'll say yes, I will. Okay, remember when we use positive sentence, we don't use contraction okay we'll say i will yes 
I will. So question is, will you eat? And positive answer is, yes, I will. And if we want to give negative answer, so we'll say, no, I will not. Okay? Or, no, I won't. We can use contraction in negative answer, but not in positive answer. Remember, we don't use contractions in formal speech. Okay? Let's see next question. Will he finish the work? Will he finish the work? It's a question. Okay? So positive answer is yes, he will. It's your choice. If you want to give complete answer, so you can say yes, he will finish the work. Or if you want to give short answer, you will say yes, he will. Okay? And positive, we don't use contraction. Or if you want to give negative answer, so you'll say no, he will not or he won't. He won't. Next, will we reach on time? Will we reach on time? So positive answer is yes, we will. And negative answer is no, we will not or no, we won't. Next question. Will she get the job? Positive answer is yes, she will. Negative answer is no, she won't or she will not. Okay? So we have learned how to ask questions, how to give positive answer and negative answer. Also short answers. Now we'll learn the use of will where and how to use will in sentence okay so first we use will for quick decisions okay decisions that we make suddenly at the time of speaking here is a person a and he is speaking i'm hungry remember am um is a contraction form of i am okay now here is a person B. He is speaking. I'll cook something for you. Okay. I'll cook something for you. I'll is a contraction form of I will. Okay. So here when person A spoke I'm hungry. Person B suddenly made a decision and spoke. I'll cook something for you. Okay. It's a quick decision. Right. So here we use will, I'll, I will, okay? I will cook something for you. Let's see some more examples. I'll eat a sandwich, okay? I'll is a contraction form of I will eat a sandwich. Remember, we won't say sandwich, okay? We will not say sandwich because this d is silent we will say sandwich if you want to know more about silent letters you can click here and watch the video or you can get the link in description box next sentence is i won't eat burger okay i will i'll it's a positive sentence i won't i will not it's a negative sentence I won't means I will not the short form of will not I won't next I won't give you my money okay I won't give you my money this shirt is amazing I'll buy it okay so these are sudden decisions so we use will or will not now next is offers. That suitcase is too heavy. I'll help you. Okay. So here person is helping someone. Okay. He's offering a help. Next sentence. Will you join us? Okay. So a person is receiving offer from someone to join a group or maybe a party. Next sentence is. Don't worry, I'll teach you. Okay, 
so here a student might be receiving help from teacher or from a relative friends family from anyone okay so he's receiving an offer okay don't worry i'll teach you next sentence is i lend you some money okay so here a person is receiving money or another person is offering money to someone now next we use will in prediction so the first sentence is she will be famous someday okay so here is the prediction next sentence is i hope my parents won't shout on me okay again there is a prediction the weather tomorrow will be sunny and warm next sentence is don't worry everything will be fine right everything will be fine again here is a prediction now next in promises okay in promises also we use will so here is an example i will do my best in the next round a person is promising someone okay i will do my best in the next round next sentence i will call you when i arrive here is again a promise okay i will call you when i arrive next i will not tell him about the surprise party so here is again a promise we use will i will but here we are making negative sentence i will not okay or i won't and i will return your money within two days okay i will return your money within two days here again someone is promising to return money okay so here for threats okay here stop talking or i will punish you next give me all your money or you will die <laughs> okay next i'll tell your parents what you did i'll punish you if you do not work for us okay so here i'll is a contraction form of i will we can make it also we can say don't i'll punish you if you don't work for us i'll punish you if you do not work for us okay next we use will for requests or orders okay let's see the sentences will you guide us please so someone is requesting for guidance okay will you guide us please it's a request because we are using please we use please when we request okay we request someone next sentence will you help me please here again we're using please it's a request somebody is asking help okay somebody is requesting next you will finish your work first <laughs> okay it's an order somebody is ordering okay somebody is giving order last sentence is you will work on the presentation okay so somebody has given the order to work on the presentation right going to okay how to use going to when we talk about future so let's get started first of all let's understand why do we use going to okay we use going to to talk about pre-made plans okay why do we use going to when we want to talk about pre-made plans we use going to okay so let's see how to make positive sentences with going to so here first sentence is i am going to eat i am going to eat we are going to eat you are going to eat they are going to eat he is going to eat she is going to eat and it is 
going to now here we can see these are subjects okay these are subjects i we you they he she and it with i we use m with we you they we use r and with he she it we use is okay to make positive sentences with going to we use subject then is m r okay is m and r according to subjects then going to okay and after that we use verb okay so to make positive sentences with going to first we use subject then is m r anyone according to subject after that we use going to and verb so here we have a sentence i am going to clean the house tomorrow i am going to clean the house tomorrow so here we are using i which is subject then m okay with i we use m i am after that going to i am going to verb clean okay i'm going to clean the house tomorrow then additional information i am going to clean the house tomorrow now let's see next sentence we are going to see the doctor next week we is a subject then are with we we are using are because we is a plural subject after that going to then verb okay c is a verb and then additional information okay we are going to see the doctor next week now let's see the next sentence you are going to buy a house next month okay you are with you are then going to after that verb and then additional information a house next month okay next sentence they are going to play football okay with they we use are then going to verb and football next sentence he is going to cook food for me with he we use is okay he is going to cook food for me next sentence she is going to pay the bills okay she is a singular subject with singular subject we use is she is he is he is also singular subject he is she is she is going to pay okay and then the bills next sentence it is going to run fast tonight okay it is with it we use is okay he she it these are singular subjects we use is with singular subjects we use they these are plural subjects we use are with plural subjects and with i we use am okay so this is the way to make positive sentences with going to okay so if we are talking about he is going to cook food for me means it is not present it is future okay in future he is going to cook food for me here you are going to buy a house next month okay means it is not present here we are talking about future in future next month you are going to buy a house now let's see how to make negative sentences 
so here again we have subject ismr with ismr we use not then going to after that verb now let's see sentences i am not going to eat we are not going to eat you are not going to eat they are not going to eat he is not going to eat she is not going to eat and it is not going to eat to make negative sentences we use not okay not subject then ismr anyone after that not right before going to we use not in negative sentences so here i am not we are not you are not they are not he is not she is not it is not okay i am not going to eat we are not going to eat you are not going to eat they are not going to eat he is not she is not and it is not going to eat right so in negative sentences we use not now let's see some more sentences i am not going to talk to him i am not going to talk to him i is a subject with i we use am and then not going to then verb after that additional information we are not going to eat anything tomorrow so with we we use are then not and after that going to verb right next you are not going to hit him they are not going to clean the house they are not going to clean the house he is not going to sleep tonight it is not going to work okay so here we saw negative sentences in negative sentences we use not right now let's see how to ask questions with going to so here we have a sentence am i going to work next are we going to work are you going to work are they going to work is he going to work is she going to work is it going to work okay so here we have these questions and to make these questions we use helping verb okay m r r r is 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 right why did we use m because here we have i with i we use m i am but to make question first we use m then i here again we use first r then we means first helping verb then subject remember to make questions we use helping verbs first after that subjects also the first letter of the sentence should be capital okay so for asking questions first we use is am are then we use subject after that we use going to and verb with a question mark okay to make questions with going to we can also use question words okay when why how where how long what etc so the first question is when are we going to work okay are we going to work it's also a question but when we put when means any question words here when we put any question words first 
so we have to give additional information in answer okay when are we going to work next why are you going to buy a small house okay next where are you going to sit tomorrow how long are you going to learn the lesson so here you can see when why where how long and how these are question words when we use question words we have to give additional information okay so when if somebody is asking a question with when means he wants to know the time okay time why so this person wants to know the reason why are you going to buy a small house where are you going to sit tomorrow here person speaker wants to know the place and here how long means the person wants to know duration time period okay next how how are they going to teach you here person wants to know about method or way style right so that's why he's using how so if we want to ask questions we can simply use ismr with subject then going to and verb at the end with question mark or if we want additional information so we can use these question words okay now let's see how to use contractions when we make sentences okay so here first we have contracted forms contracted form of i am is i'm okay i'm you are is your your they are there there we are we're we're he is his his she is she's she's it is it's it's okay now let's see some positive sentences i'm going to work you're going to work they're going to work we are going to work he's going to work she's going to work and it's going to work okay i'm going to work you're going to work they're going to work we're going to work he's going to work she's going to work it's going to work right now let's see negative sentences i'm not going to work you're not going to work they're not going to work we're not going to work he's not going to work she's not going to work it's not going to work okay so here we are using contracted forms and to make negative we use not i'm not you're not they're not we're not he's not she's not it's not okay or we have another way to make negative sentences with contractions like you aren't going to work okay you are not going to work you aren't going to work so this is also negative sentence and this is also negative sentence here we are making you are your is here your is contracted form and here aren't okay you're not you aren't both sentences are negative sentences and in both sentences we are using contracted form you are aren't we don't use negative sentences with i am okay next they aren't they aren't going to work we can say they're not going to work or we can say they aren't going to work okay both are correct next we aren't going to work we aren't going to work he isn't going to work she isn't going to work it isn't going to work okay it's not going to work it isn't going to work she isn't going to work he isn't going to work 
we aren't going to work they aren't going to work you aren't going to work okay so in this way we can use contractions contracted forms to make sentences positive or negative sentences right now let's see how to give short answers okay so the first question is are you going to eat and short positive answer is yes i am remember in positive answer we don't use contractions negative answer is no i'm not next question is is he going to finish the work positive answer is yes he is and negative answer is no he's not or no he isn't okay no he's not or no he isn't next question are we going to reach on time positive answer is yes we are and negative answer is no we are not or no we aren't okay next question is she going to get the job positive answer is yes she is negative answer is no she's not or no she isn't right so here we saw how to give short answers now next we'll see going to has two main uses okay first be going to is used to make predictions about the future based on present evidence okay predictions about the future based on present evidence or we can say expressing something that is certain to happen in the future right second use we have talking about a decision or plan you have made before the time of speaking okay talking about a decision or plan you have made before the time of speaking now let's see first be going to is used to make predictions about the future based on present evidence for example here we have a picture and if we have to predict we probably say they're running or they're about to run but if we have present evidence to talk about future we can say they are going to dance in a minute right now let's see some sentences so the first sentence is she is so sad i think she is going to start crying so we have evidence that she is sad okay so that's why we can say she is going to start crying next sentence i have enough money i'm going to go for coffee okay so the evidence is money enough money and i'm going to go for coffee so the next sentence is this table is dirty you are going to clean it so the evidence is the table is dirty okay so you are going to clean it next we are at the store we are going to get some stuff okay so the evidence is that we are at the store so the future action as we are going to buy some stuff we are going to get some stuff right next look out he's going to break the glass okay look out he's going to break the glass so here we have present evidence and we use going to to make future plans so the second use is talking about a decision or a plan you have made before the time of speaking now let's see some sentences they are going for the lunch tomorrow okay they are going for the lunch tomorrow tomorrow is the next day okay but they already know because they have already planned for the lunch okay now second sentence i'm going to buy a house for my family 
okay next sentence harry is going to paint this wall next week okay so harry has made all the arrangements and he is going to paint the wall next week right so harry has decided already decided before speaking okay so the next sentence is he is going to meet his grandfather this sunday okay so he is speaking that he has to meet his grandfather but before speaking he has already decided so the next sentence is i know i am going to score high this time okay so before speaking the sentence the person has already prepared a lot okay to score high so this is already planned now let's see how to use gonna okay gonna now let's see what is gonna gonna is a contracted form of going to it is spoken language and only appropriate in informal conversation so gonna is a contracted form of going to okay now we are going to talk about these reductions in positive and negative way okay so let's see first positive first sentence is i'm going to go for shopping okay i'm going to go for shopping next i'm going to eat my breakfast i'm going to read a book i'm going to wash my hands i'm going to buy a car this month okay gonna is a contracted form short form of going to right now what if we want to use this in a negative way now let's see negative sentences also so the first sentence is i'm not going to go for shopping positive sentence is i'm going to go for shopping and negative sentence is i'm not going to go for shopping next i'm not going to use my phone i'm not going to call him i'm not going to waste water i'm not going to disturb you okay present continuous okay so let's get started we use present continuous if we know in advance that we are going to do something tonight tomorrow next week next month next year etc it is commonly used in informal situation now let's see some sentences of present continuous tense first i am reading a book you are going we are watching a movie these are some examples of present continuous tense if you haven't watched our previous video related present continuous you should watch that video first that video will help you to understand this video better so here are some questions how can we use this to describe a future action do we add will somewhere in the sentences or do we use going to now let's see how we change present continuous tense into future so here we have a sentence i am reading a book if we add tomorrow it becomes future i am reading a book tomorrow next you are going if we add next week it becomes future you are going next week we are watching this movie tonight we are watching this movie tonight okay now let's see how to form sentences to talk about present continuous tense for the future for that we need subject to be verb verb with ing object and time reference okay now let's see example i am buying a book next week so here i am buying a book is present continuous tense when we add next week it becomes future okay now let's see some positive sentences i am leaving tomorrow we are coming this week 
You're going home tonight. They're meeting my friends later. Now let's see some negative sentences. I'm not leaving tomorrow. We are not coming this week. You're not going home tonight. They're not meeting my friends later. Now let's see contractions. Contracted form of I am is am. You are your. They are there. We are we're. He is his. She is she's. And it is its. Now let's see some positive sentences in contracted form. Okay? I'm coming tomorrow. You're going next week. They're cooking tonight. We're leaving on Monday. He's cleaning in the morning. She's visiting us next week. It's working tonight. Okay? Now let's see negative sentence in contracted form. I'm not coming tomorrow. You're not going next week. They're not cooking tonight. We're not leaving on Monday. He's not cleaning in the morning. She's not visiting us next week. And it's not working tonight. Or you aren't going next week. They aren't cooking tonight. We aren't leaving on Monday. He isn't cleaning in the morning. She isn't visiting us next week. And it isn't working tonight. Okay? Now let's learn how to give short answers. So here is a question. Are you leaving next month? So the positive answer is, yes, I am. We don't use contraction here. And the negative answer is, no, I'm not. Next, is he coming tomorrow? Positive answer is, yes, he is. And negative answer, no, he's not. Or, no, he isn't. Next, are we working next week? Positive answer, yes, we are. And negative answer, no, we're not. Or, no, we aren't. Next, is she buying a house next year? Positive answer is, yes, she is. And the negative answer, no, she's not. Or, no, she isn't. Okay? We can also use question words, when, what, where, how, etc. for asking questions. So here we have positive sentence. We are meeting this week. If we want to ask question, we'll say, where are we meeting this week? Let's see one more example. I am leaving tomorrow. Okay? So we can ask, why am I leaving tomorrow? Okay? We can say, why am I leaving tomorrow? So we can use question words also for asking questions. So this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.